So welcome back to Studio 39, a.k.a. The Bear Cave. I'm Rob Odie. Just like we do every time, we got another young man with another story to share. But before we get into that, please hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, comment down below who you want us to interview. Who do you want on the show? Let us know. We're trying to blow this thing up. With that being said, let's have some fun. Tell us who you are, where you're from, what you do. We'll go from there. My name is Keontae Taylor. I'm from um, Chicago, Illinois. Um, I play O-line, D-line. I'm 6'1", 295. I go to um, Wendell Phillips, class of 2022. Class of 22 from the Chicago, Illinois area, right? Any yes, uh, any affiliation or any knowledge of Fist Football Academy out, out your way? No, not yet. Okay, okay. So I know Coach Solomon, you know, and the boys over there at Fist Football is right in your area, so might not be yeah. a bad, you know, bad person to link up with, you know, say hi to, right? Yeah. Uh, nonetheless, man, so being in Chicago, you haven't had a football season, right? No. No, nah, but look, I think the government just decided to let y'all play, right? Yes, sir. All right. Look at that smile. Look at that smile. Man. <laughs> Super excited, man. I was campaigning hard for you guys on Twitter. You know, not that my, you know, my voice goes a, a long way, man. But, uh, you know, I, I try to do what I can do because, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's unfortunate, you know, what we're going through and, and the fact that so many other states can make it work. You know, there was no reason why you guys couldn't make it work as well. So super excited that you guys are going to have a season. Uh, looking forward to it. Um, but nonetheless, man, you've had an extended off season, right? So yeah. with that, what have you been doing? Uh, you know, what have you been doing to stay in shape? What have you been doing to perfect your craft? You know, what are some things you learned from last year that you put in place and really uh, worked on this off season? So my off season, I had went down to Oklahoma to get stronger because my brother stayed down there. So I, okay. I, lift, I lift weights, um, practice on my footwork, stuff like that, run. Okay. So, you know? Any uh, any any you know coaches or coordinators uh, you know in your in your corner? Anybody helping you do what you do? Well, yeah, I try with a lot of different coaches and um, trainers. Okay, you want to shout anybody out? Um, Michael Willis, um, Derek Upchurch, uh, DB. Okay. All right. So look, man. Uh, you know, working on the off season, right? Working, you said working on your footwork and overall speed is kind of the big thing, right? Yeah. Cool, man. So. If I were to, you know, let's kind of think about it on a, on the opposite side, right? So if I were to talk to uh, to your current coaching staff or anybody that's in your corner, really, that's uh, helping you perfect your craft, right? What would you uh, what would you say that they would recognize as some of your biggest strengths that really make you stand out compared to the guy beside you? I say, um, hard working. Hard working. Dedicated and commitment. Okay, so hard working and, and, and commitment, right? What's yes, your leadership? Sir. What's your leadership look like in the locker room? Being a being the best person I could be in the best role my life could be to my team. Okay, okay, good deal, my man. So uh, let's talk a little bit about the recruiting process. How's that been going for you? Well, right now we've been going slow. Like I have not been talking to no schools. Okay, so no conversation started. No. Okay, so so you know, just like I said, a little little bit of advice. You know, do what you do. Continue to uh, continue to grind, but more importantly, continue to make videos. Right. So put together film, even if you don't have a football season, if you're just training, man, just put together some film, you know, get with buddies, you know, go out on the field and just do what you can do to, to really show these coaches that, you know, A, you're dedicated to the game, but B, you know, you're, you're doing the best of what you can do uh, to, you know, continue to uh, perfect your craft and such. You know, that's just kind of uh, some words of advice. I know it's been working for a lot of others, you know, around the, the country. And then, like I said, man, you got a, a strong asset right there in your backyard with Fist Football Academy. Uh, you know, a bunch of great dudes that, that specialize in the big men, man. That's that's what they do. O-line, D-line only. So, uh, right. and then they got a big showcase out in Wisconsin, you know, coming up uh, February 27th, I believe. So, yeah. you know, like I said, somebody just to, to reach out to and network with. And, you know, obviously it's always good to have somebody else in your corner. But nonetheless, man, so recruiting process is a little bit slow. But, you know, like I said, don't get discouraged. Uh, you know, you still got a season coming up in what? I think March 18th or so is when you guys get to start. Yeah. Something like that. So, you know, do what you do this year, you know, put up, put up some numbers, right. You know, yes, sir. get some, uh, get some looks and get some more exposure, man. So um, let's do this. Let's uh, let's go away from the whole student athlete piece, man. And let's talk about who you are as an individual, you know, outside of the game. Right. So yeah. who are you as a person? What are you involved with? What do you like to do? Um, who are you outside of the game, man? Well, when I ain't playing football, I spent time with my mom or my father, my family, um, I go outside with my friends sometimes, who stuff like that, you know, listen to music. I'm, I'm a chill guy. Okay. So a chill dude, spend some time, friends and family, right? Yeah. All right, man, I'm with it. I'm with it. 
So look, I appreciate you taking the time. I'm excited that we had this conversation. You know, I know we linked up a little while ago and finally made it work. So I appreciate that. Uh, obviously you could be doing a lot of other things on this Sunday afternoon, right? Uh, so, you know, I appreciate you jumping on. Uh, with that being said, man, I'm going to close it up with the same question I do every single time. And that question is what motivates and what drives you to want to wake up tomorrow and be that much more successful than you were today? What motivates me is, um, I say my family, um, like when I see people talk down on me and hate, 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 like saying, um, I ain't going to make it out. That motivates me. And, um, I want to be better than I was today. Okay. I appreciate that. So look, Best of luck to you. Let's stay connected. You know, let's, uh, you know, I'm gonna wish you safety and health throughout this, uh, this crazy time, man. Go out there, put up some numbers, show out, do what you do. You know, hopefully this is going to gain you some additional exposure um, coming up to your next season. And uh, with that, for the subscribers, man, continue to do what you do. Continue to blow this thing up. Subscribe, comment down below who you want us to have on the show. Uh, I appreciate your time, my man. Stay safe, stay healthy. I'm Rob Odie. This was Spotlight 39. Until next time. All right.